Hi, everyone. My name is Megan Herman, and I'm a senior political science major at JMU. Hey, Dukes. My name is Dr. Tim Miller, and I'm the vice president for student affairs here at JMU. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Miller, to talk to us about what students need to do before they come back to campus. Can you tell us a little bit more about a few things that students need to do before their return? Sure. Thanks, Megan. Uh, so all students will be required to use the LiveSafe app. This is important because LiveSafe will be the primary way we will self-monitor and help our students make sure that they're feeling well enough every day to come to campus. Second, uh, students will be doing an online re return to campus training as well as a quiz. So that will help our students learn the best ways to be safe this fall. And again, students hold the key to a safe campus that stays open for the entire fall semester. And last, all students will be required to sign the student agreement. This is found through the My Madison check-in that they'll be doing. So you want to read it and sign that pledge as you go through that process so we can all work toward minimizing illness and keeping campus open. Thanks, Dr. Miller. And what's a good way for students to stay up to date on all these requirements before they come to campus? So we'll have the Stop the Spread website that is up now. We're adding FAQs to that. So as we're getting questions that ask for a little more clarity, we're adding information there. But Stop the Spread is the place to go. Uh, that will be a website that will continue to be updated. Uh, we'll also have that up on social media and all sorts of places. So really just staying in touch. And the most important thing is students need to read their email. I know email feels old school, but that's where this information is going to be. That's how we can best share information with everyone. So I encourage students to consistently check their email. Don't just send JMU informational emails to your trash. Uh, you need to take a few minutes and read those as they come. Awesome. And how can students contact Student Affairs if they have any questions about these requirements or want to talk to somebody about them? Sure, we have a generic email account, uh, vpstudentaffairs at jmu.edu. I check that, Don in my office checks that, and Carson Lonnett, uh, who works with me as an advisor to me, also checks that. So we're on that all the time. So vpstudentaffairs at jmu.edu. You can send your questions there. If it's a student affairs question, we'll answer it. If it's not a student affairs question, we'll uh, connect you to the person that can't answer. We really just want to have students have the opportunity to ask these questions. Uh, they're the ones that are going to be living here, so it's important that students are thinking through what they want to know, how they want to find out how to live safely this fall uh, here on campus. So we encourage them to read first. If you can't find your answer, then send us an email. And before we go, do you have any final thoughts on what students need to know before they return to campus this fall? Yeah, Megan, I think it's really important that people know that there are ways to manage this. Uh, when we think about you know, when, when people say, oh, I got it, many of them will tell you it's because I was at this place or at this place or I went out here. If you do physical distancing, you're going to have a lower chance of getting this. If you wear masks, you're going to have a lower chance of getting this. I, for one, have really enjoyed buying a number of different masks. Uh, it's not here yet or else I'd show you today, but I have a Baby Yoda mask showing up soon that I'm excited to wear. I'm also a huge Captain America fan, so I have a Captain America mask on the way. And I think that let's have a little bit of fun with some of these things that we have to do to keep each other safe. And I think when I think about JMU, I think about this as a place that takes care of each other. And I think about how we open doors for each other. Well, wearing masks is the new holding doors. That's what we need to do to help each other be safe this fall and in the future. So as, as you think about this, I know people sort of talk about how this is really only impacting older people. Younger people can get this too. Younger people can get this and it can negatively impact their lives. So I really want to encourage everyone to use good judgment, be thoughtful about what you do, wear your masks, wash your hands regularly. Um, you know, I think that the hand sanitizer is great, but washing your hands is a nice basic thing we can do regularly. Uh, and all of us can have a major impact, not only on this campus, but on our community. We need to remember that we are part of Harrisburg and Rockingham County. We have a responsibility to that community to take this seriously. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Miller, and for all that helpful information. Thanks, Megan. Have a great semester.